we go. Time for some unboxing. I have access. Do y'all remember the little Christmas elf that came a couple weeks ago? Well, he or she is back. Check this out. They brought me a Hoham iSteady mobile gimbal that I can put my iPhone 12 Pro Max in. And I got this Proline adjustable studio monitor stands. I am so excited to get these set up. Let's go. It's a mess in here, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, it is. Check it out. So you see how my big M audio monitors are on top. Probably a bad idea to have my energy juice in the middle above all my thousands of dollars of gear, but it is what it is. And then I've got my Atom audios down there. So it just didn't sit right with me. I couldn't get things in the sweet spot. So I got this from my Christmas elf. We're gonna unbox it and get it set up. And I'm hoping that it looks dope. It's time to get these speaker stands unboxed. Wow, look at all this stuff. I don't even know where to begin. I'm a dude, we don't normally read directions, but I should probably do that for this. All right, we have, wow, that's heavy. Our stand, we have this stand, we have base, and here, We have our base plates and we have a whole bunch of nuts and screws and bolts to hold it all together. Unlike my life is falling apart right now. Assembly instructions. Step one, insert long hex bolt with chrome washer through hole in center of one triangular base from the plastic feet side. Step two, thread the long hex bolt into the bottom of one vertical shaft and tighten the hex bolt with the provided Allen wrench to secure vertical shaft to triangular base. Step three, insert short hex bolt with black washer through hole in the center of one monitor plate and thread into top of the vertical shaft. Secure monitor plate to vertical shaft with the Allen wrench. Step four, adjust height by loosening large thumb knob on clutch housing and move upper shaft to desired height. Step five, insert safety pin all the way through vertical shaft at lowest hole exposed, allowing the safety pin to rest on clutch housing. Secure by tightening large thumb knob on clutch housing. Step six, Remove adhesion backing from non-slip pads and affix to monitor platforms. Step seven, 
When placing stand on carpet, remove the plastic feet from triangular base and screw in the three leveling carpet spikes. Adjust carpet spikes so that the monitor platform is level. And step eight. Repeat steps one through three to assemble the second stand. All right, we're back and we're gonna get this set up thanks to the band next door for providing some pretty killer background music. All right, so we got this here. So this goes like that. Oh, this is pretty dope. So these actually go up and down. Sweet. So we got that. We insert this big boy. So there's a screw that goes in here. <laughs> Sweet, didn't even need that. All right, so let's pour all this. Here's how OCD I am about having all my nuts and bolts together so I don't lose anything during this setup process. <laughs> Step one, get our tools together. This fits in here. This goes under here. This goes under here, which connects into here. See if I can do this like they do on the TV shows where they pull the table cloth. <laughs> okay, here's our felt pads. This goes. A plate goes. Right. 
will finger tighten that. And then we'll take our Allen wrench. Tighten this in so that that way we'll have a nice sturdy place for my Atom Audio speakers to sit on. Lovely. There we go. This is our adhesive foam. So right here, we'll pull this off. Same thing. <laughs> so let's put this down like that. So this part, remember when I showed you these earlier, they screw out. Well, for the purpose of me here at the studio having the concrete floor, I'm gonna keep these in, but you have these screws that can go into carpeting. So you can take these two. Here. Voila! For me, here at the studio, I am going to keep this in. So we'll just put that there. Put this back. I'm going to keep everything flush. To race this, pull this clamp out. Pull this out, loosen, simply raise up to lock in place. Take the bar, put it in this hole. There you go. Make sure that's tightened and set your speaker right here. And this is our speaker stand assembly. We'll get my speaker and set it on here. Beautiful. All right, we've got this one set up successfully. Let's rinse, wash, and repeat. All the rest to it.
now let's get these installed in their forever home here at Legacy Studios. All right, so this isn't perfectly centered. I've got to take all this stuff out tomorrow and rewire some things. But for the sake of this video, let me show you how we're gonna post these. So, one. Probably need to raise this up a little bit. Set up the other one. All right, we've got our speaker stands corners we've got my m audios here things are still a mess i'm cleaning things up it's the end of the year i'm putting it all together i'm gonna show you my rig rundown here soon and it's gonna be all nice and neat and you'll appreciate the mess but that is the general basis of everything <laughs> 